watching. Um, I am Rodonna and this is Talon. He is my son and I am a stylist of 22 years. I actually have um, a YouTube channel. It is Boys and Girls Hairstyles and you can find that at boysandgirlshairstyles.com and anyway, I just love helping people with their hair and it's a passion of mine and so I wanted to give you guys some tips um, on cutting hair at home. Everybody's been, been quarantined, uh, been inside, you know, salons closed, things like that. Um, Talon lives with me, so he does get his hair cut. And so I thought it would be fun to show you guys what, how I cut Talon's hair. Um, I just have my comb, I have my squirt bottle, that's all you need, squirt bottle. Um, sorry Talon, <laughs> kind of cold. So I'm going to start with the base, the bottom down here, okay? Um, you obviously are going to take as much off as you want. Um, I'm just going to hold this down. I like to point cut into my cuts, okay? That means it's not a straight, straight line. Okay, you can see that I'm just kind of point cutting into that. Now obviously if you want it shorter, you're going to go shorter. All right, just point cut into that. I start in the middle, I go to the side, and then come back to the middle, and then go to the other side. And if you want, you can hold your finger out, set your shears here. Um, let's, let's do talk about shears. Now, if you just grab a kitchen pair of scissors, doubt that's gonna cut the hair, okay? We're gonna be bending the hair. Anyway, like I said, it's it's nice to just have a pair of scissors, a comb, and there you go. I mean, that will get you by until you can get back in the salon. But anyway, it's so fun to see you guys. Thank you for watching. Tell him thank you. You are awesome. He's so cute. Anyway, I feel very blessed to have him. But anyway, you guys have a good one. I hope you guys stay safe, healthy. Um, make sure I got my Germex in my salon. <laughs> I hope this is enough. Yeah, did he say I was crazy? I think I am. But anyway, we have fun. It's all good. Um, you guys, thanks again. I appreciate it. Hope this helps. Good luck. Uh, if you have any questions or need my help, boysandgirlshairstyles.com, I can help you. Have a good day. See ya. super thoughtful kid. Anyway, just have to tell you a little bit about him. Um, but anyway, I want to show you how to do a clipper cut on him. He still wants it longer. He doesn't want it like short and tight. Um, but I am going to talk to you a little bit about um, the clippers. And so you kind of know, you know, when I say he doesn't want it that short, I already know kind of what's not short, right? So if you don't know, I kind of want to go over that. So 
He is gonna do a number seven. So he's going to do a number seven. We're just gonna come up here. You're gonna see that it's going to take off a little bit. It's just gonna clean it up. Um, it's not gonna take a ton off. Now, if you want it shorter, um, in a few minutes when I'm done, I'm gonna kind of go over the clipper um, attachments with you so you can decide which one uh, you would need. So you can see um, it's cleaning it up. And this is nice if, you know, you don't wanna do a finger cut and you just wanna all really even and a little bit faster than a finger cut. I just like to go, his hair grows this way. So I like to go, you know, the opposite way of the way his hair grows. So, and then of course you can see I'm coming to about here with the clippers. Then I'm gonna show you how to blend it. Okay, now you can just kind of go back around, see if there's anywhere you missed. Uh, just make sure it's all, all even. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this off. brush but I love the blow dryer just blow it off there okay so just gonna turn him around this way you look good Chan does it feel good yeah okay always nice to have a nice trim okay now I want to just go over really fast so you kind guys kind of have an idea like I said I had a seven um, and everybody's clippers are different obviously on how you put these on some just slide on the end Mine actually have clips that you push in the end and you push it up and then it just clicks on. So it depends on which kind you have. But I wanna talk, like the one, one is really short. So the bigger the number, the higher the number, the longer the hair will be, okay? So there are um, larger numbers than the seven that I use, but this is how long a seven is. And uh, the, it'll say, like this is seven eighths of an inch, okay? So you, you know that. Can you guys see that? <laughs> seven eighths of an inch. Um, this is a number two, that's a quarter of an inch. And the one is the shortest besides the zero. It's almost, zero is kind of like almost the blade. Um, so if you wanna get you know tricky, you can start with a one, go up into a two and do a fade if you want it tight, okay? So, but I wanted you guys to know the larger the number, the longer the hair, okay? So if you're wanting it shorter, um, most all my guys have two or a three if they want it short. Um, anyway, so honestly, just, and on, let me just show you this. So his is a seven. Okay, now I just had my hair trimmed yesterday and I have a four on the back of mine. So you can see how much tighter this four is compared to a seven, okay? So larger the number, the longer, you know, number one, short, okay? So anyway, just so you know, you don't just flip that on and cut away and it's 
ball. No. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much. Thanks, Chan, for letting us trim you. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this helped you. If you have more questions, just comment below. Um, click on the links for help um, and get your, your stuff if you need it at home because um, the kitchen shears just aren't going to work. <laughs> um, anyway, you guys have a great day and thanks for all your support. See ya. Thank you.